Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with the Sarah Jane Adventures. Last time on the Sarah Jane Adventures, we had the Empty Planet, where uh, one morning Clyde and Ronnie woke up and realized that there was just no one. Uh, everyone on the face of planet Earth was gone, uh, with the exception of one young boy named Gavin, and also the fact that there were two giant robots running around. Um, yeah, so they had to figure out what was happening, where'd everyone go, and what they realized was the robots are actually, were, they were trying to find the son and heir of the late king of this planet, uh, far away, and that turned out to be Gavin, and they all figured it out, it was nice and good, and it was actually a really great episode, I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Just, just don't. Um, yeah. Let me try to lower my sleeves a bit. You can tell I'm not wearing my normal two-shirt combo. Uh, it's hot and I'm tired. I'm, I can't be bothered to put another shirt on. So, yeah. Uh, not the point. God, I'm tired. Doesn't matter. The point is, Sarah Jane. Let's get into this episode. Here we go. That's... That, don't you, oh shit. How do you know my name? How do you know? Hmm. This would be the kind of thing to get the doctor for. Or even if I believe you, how can we possibly find this crazy? Yeah. Whoa. There is no choice in the matter. Whoa! All right. Okay. What? <laughs> All right. Working on notes. Oh, have they been separated? Crap, they've been separated. It was the queen's personal request to be king. Seriously. Uh Okay. Oh. Uh, Jane. Jane. The nine days queen. No. The nine days queen. Find more suitable attire. What are you looking at? Germans. I'm sure of it. Germans. Self of June, nineteen forty one. Nineteen forty one. Okay. So, who said Joe? Do you actually know? Nazis. Yeah. Oh, great. I'm just investigating. There are ghosts in this house. Everybody says so. Or is it just because everybody says <laughs> something to be true? Old timey investigator. 1889. 1889, huh? What was that? Probably an alien. It happens. Yeah. You go back in time far enough. There must be one gentleman who occupies your thoughts. It was 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside, but it's 41 in here. Classic sign of ghosts. Why are you using Fahrenheit? What is it with you and ghosts? Father says she's gone, but she can't have gone. No, not forever. Ah. Oh dear. The haunting is supposed to happen each night at eight. Oh, they're very punctual. And she calls upon all of her subjects to reject any unlawful claims. Uh, maybe you can escape? I have no need of this. For I am no longer queen. You didn't even want to be queen. Now punishment for traitors is death. Damn it. Dang it. She's called the nine day queen for a reason. Yeah. Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Koenig. Whoa. 
Is that Jack and Hagar? Oh, I recognize that face anywhere. Yeah, that's... That's modern. Oh. That's what you need to get, Clyde. True purpose? Oh no. The, oh crap. She, uh, oh, she's called the Nine Day Queen for a reason. Ah, uh, trapped. No. Oh boy. Who is fucking Captain? Okay, hang on. Oh. Uh, okay. God, this one's really interesting, actually. Alright. She's. Oh, maybe the sword? No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Why would the sword. She, she's called the Nine Day Queen for a reason. Ronnie said she's the Nine Day Queen. At least Clyde found the hammer. Sarah Jane is on to what's happening with the ghosts. What exactly? I don't know. What's what's happening with Jane? I don't know. I don't know. Ja oh, this one's interesting. I love it. Fucking Jack and Hagar is a Nazi. Damn it. All right. Part two. Ah, jeez. All right, well, now it's just a fight. No subterfuge, no nothing, just, let's just fight. All right, good job, Jane. Your death would have inspired thousands to rise up against Mary. And now she'll simply lock you up. Then, one day, she will have you quietly executed when you could have died a martyr. Uh, I... Yes. Oh. The knife is what she's looking for. Think about this house, Emily. It's empty. Except for a clock. So Just change the time. Good job. Whoa. Damn, the school teacher's packing. I love it. I fear I do not have long for this world. What? Forgive me, but I feel so alone. Not alone, Lady Jane, remember? Hold the knife when Ronnie takes it. Maybe we'll take you back to the future. Well, maybe don't do your click clacky thing, just leave it open. Damn it. Fucking terrible babysitter. Wait. God damn it. As soon as nothing happened, I was like, she's a traitor. Yeah, British! Yeah. Man, it's incredible that that worked. The key. What the fuck? Uh. No, freeing kids, don't play with fire. Uh. 
Come on, you can do it, girl. I right, get out of there. Oh. Don't play with matches, kids. We did it. Or else someone in the future who went to the past to get someone in the past will have to save you. And don't count on that. Alright, good work, guys. Okay, one saved. I guess two, technically. Now it's on Ronnie. <laughs> Lady Rani is not of this world. Yeah. She is no witch, and I guess that's true. She is an angel. <laughs> I have always suspected so. I know I do not die in vain. Oh man. Poor Jane. Tuh. <laughs> All right, all you're missing is Sarah Jane. Talking of which, Emily, I need that key. Yeah. Wait. Shit. Ah, back to the future. Yes. Okay, did it worked? What the fuck? Who? Fuck! Fuck you, man! All that you won't even tell us who you are. I guess. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, she got the article. That's how. Wow. Good for him. Hey. You made a difference! Ah, uh, good job, guys. Holy shit, that was a good episode. Oh. Wow, I'm actually a little cold. Hold up. Sorry, sorry. I'm cold. Need a sec. This is what I get for not wearing two shirts. Ugh. It's the middle of August and I'm cold. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that's better. I ah, decided to put my hoodie on because I was chilled for some reason. I don't know. Ooh, ooh that feels nice though. Uh, actually, here. Oh, that's better. Okay, alrighty. That was a that was a really good episode, man. I have to say, this season, <laughs> despite having my least favorite episode of the of the show. This season's been cranking out some pretty good episodes, I gotta say. Oi. Man, I wish I knew more about Jane. I mean, I don't... I don't know much about the British monarchy. That's... that's an issue. Um... Is... I would assume when they say Mary has come, would that be... Mary, Queen of Scots? 
I don't know. Dang it. Oh, I feel... I feel like every time, like... I don't know, because I don't know how many of you guys know this. I am a history major in college, and I, I don't know. I feel like these shows never touch up on my specialty. Like, like I, they don't touch on the knowledge that I really know. Like, I don't know anything about Vincent Van Gogh or Jane or anything. So, yeah. All right. Hold on. Adjusting the sleeves inside the sleeves. All right. Um, I suppose I didn't write down too many notes. I don't know. It, it was a very interesting episode, I have to say. Despite the fact that the framing device they had was okay. Like, the framing device of this guy, presumably Smalley, um, I guess I can see. Did he even have a, a name? Oi. Um, fucking Jack and Hagar. That's so weird. Uh, just shopkeeper. That's all he's credited as. So, yeah. Um. So, yeah. The, the whole thing with, like, oh, here's this shopkeeper who sends them back in time to retrieve this stuff. And you gotta get the stuff or else the world explodes. Honestly, that... Excuse me. That stuff was... Okay? Like, the whole framing device, basically, was... Okay, not great, not bad, it just sort of... Was there. But what you're really here for is what they actually do throughout time. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the first thing I wrote down was the shopkeeper. Again, he was okay. I, th I think the whole framing device in general was just kind of okay. But it did lead to really great stuff. Um, I will say it kind of irritates me that they didn't say... Like, they didn't give anything on him. Like, they didn't say who he was or anything like that. It's just like, yep, that's... Here's this guy, there he goes, and, you know, at the end when Sarah Jane is just like, well, clearly he's someone who didn't want us to know who he is. It's like, well, that's really convenient for the writers to do. Like, that's, ah, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of like, which, again, you know, he's not the focus of the episode. The focus is what they're doing, um, in the past. But, yeah, that's... I don't know. That and that I don't know. That I don't really care for that. The fact that they don't explain who this guy is. He's he's literally just there as a plot device to get the plot rolling. Yeah. So I don't really care for that and you know, he's saying he's talking to his parrot who he calls captains, like, oh, the captain's work is done, and then he leaves, and is like, that's it, the end, who was that, why was he doing this, what the fuck is he talking about, you know, why is he, why is this thing happening where the earth could get sucked into the time vortex, I don't know, I don't know, but, oh god, I just realized there's a ton of dog hair on here, sorry. Dog hair really catches on this thing. Um, so, yeah. I don't I don't really care for that, but whatever. It doesn't really distract... It doesn't detract from the episode, I don't think. Uh, I wrote down the metal. Uh, I didn't catch what it was called. And he said it a couple times, I just didn't catch it. It was like chronosphere, chrono tier, chrono something. I don't know. Um, that was also kind of interesting. Again, it was just sort of the plot device of, you know, we need to get these things. You know, they're being sent to three different points in time in order to get these things. Um, it, it was kind of, it was a bit more interesting because it was specifically like, you know, um, because it was specifically, hey, these things are messing with time. 
you know? And, and the fact, you know, just a little bit we know about it, it's like, okay, this is metal that was forged from the Time Vortex. Like, okay, that's actually kind of interesting. You know, that sounds like something they could bring back on Doctor Who or something. Um, and yeah, just the fact that it's changing time. So we had... So we had three objects. Um, with Jane, it was the knife that was going to kill her. Uh, which was not supposed to happen. She was not supposed to die that night. She was going to be imprisoned and then later executed by Queen Mary. Um, and then we had the hammer uh, that Hitler believed was Thor's hammer. It sounds like shit he would say. Because um, Hitler was into that shit. He was into, you know, stuff of the occult and shit like that. Um, <laughs> hence two, ep two of the Indiana Jones movies. Um, yeah. Um, so, so that's the thing, is that, so, that's interesting, you know, having that there, it's like, okay, this will, this thing will block out, um, this thing will block out, um, radio, or radar, excuse me. It blocks out British radar so there can be an actual invasion of Britain. Um, oh, that reminds me of when we... I, that reminds me of the argument we got in... Uh, in uh, I guess it was the Doctor Dances. That was so long ago. Um, but we, the comment section and I kind of had an argument on was Britain technically invaded? I kind of argued yes because of the bombings, but many people argued no they britain wasn't invaded because there were no boots on the ground um which is a fair point we're not going to get into that again um but yeah but this what they were trying to do was start an actual you know boots on the ground invasion of britain so yeah that's interesting and then uh the key the key that was going to kill these children basically which which that's the thing is that one really didn't i don't know it's like it didn't involve too much like it didn't like change it didn't really change like something major in time like the first two it's like okay jane would have become a martyr and they would have risen up against mary that would have changed history Excuse me. Um, the Nazis would have invaded Britain, may have even won the war, or not have been, maybe they wouldn't have, they might still not have won the war, but, you know, Britain would be, like, down for the count after the war, basically. Um, but, you yeah, know, who knows, that's one of those what-ifs we're not going to get into. But the third one, with the key, it really wasn't, like, I don't know, it, it was kind of just a... Like, well, this sort of happened, and yes, it is changing the death of these kids, but, I don't know, it shouldn't really, I don't know, it doesn't change time too much. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, let's kind of go over the three time periods in depth, uh, a little more in depth. Um, okay, so Ronnie was sent back to just before Queen Jane abdicated the throne, basically, you know, relinquished the crown to Mary and was then imprisoned. Uh, that's interesting, you know, and man, they really, like, immediately made Jane a sympathetic character. So, yeah, that was interesting. And then, um, and it was very interesting, you know, because, because, the whole point was to find the three objects, the three metal objects, but they really did, you know, they worked in, you know, more to it, basically. Like, you know, it wasn't just about, at, at, it got to a point where it wasn't just about, well, let's just find the knife, but it was also about, we need to help Jane to an extent, basically. We need, I mean, it was still the same thing, I guess, you know, we have to let Jane we have to let Jane sort of work herself out. Like, like her timeline needs to continue the way it did. 
uh, unfortunately. Now, the whole thing of, you know, a quick and painless death, that was kind of, uh, or, you know, dying and becoming a martyr, and it's just like, you know, that... That's kind of stupid. Like, that's not a fucking... That's not a plan. The fuck kind of plan is that? Matilda. God damn it, Matilda. So, yeah. Um, and and you can kind of surmise what's going to happen, too. Because, you know, I know nothing about Jane. But, you know, when they say it's like, oh, she became... She was just crowned nine days ago. And then Ronnie's like, oh, the nine-day queen. And it's like, that that doesn't bode well. That she is called the Nine Day Queen, and we're on day nine. Poor Jane. Nah. Um, going back to the forties was cool. Uh, having Clyde, you know, help stop the German invasion. Uh, that was interesting. Fucking Jack and Hagar. I think that's what made that like all the more better was that the main Nazi was played by Jack and Hagar from Game of Thrones. That was interesting, like, because I was looking at him and I was trying to play, so I was like, that's fucking Jack and Hagar. It's like, that, oh, that was, that that was cool. I like that. I like that they, that he was there. Um, may have made that even better. The fucking school teacher, though. Because, because I thought it was interesting, like, oh, man, this teacher's packing. Um, but then it's like, no, he, it's like, I don't know, it's like this school teacher is packing, and then, <laughs> and then, um, she just, I don't know, it's interesting, it's like, uh, I'm tripping over all my words, I'm sorry about this, I'm fucking tired, I'm, I'll just be, I'll admit that. But yeah, the fact that it's like, okay, she's the only one that managed to escape, and there's the Nazis have already taken the village, and she has a gun. And I thought, well, damn, that's kind of weird. And then it's like, as soon as she went in, because she goes in, and then she's like, put your hands up. And I'm and I'm just saying, like, why don't you just shoot them? They're Nazis. Just go ahead and kill them. And then, like, they go in, and she's just standing there doing nothing. And I'm like, she's a traitor. Like, I can immediately tell she's a traitor. And sure enough fucking bitch Ugh. but still Clyde Clyde and George were able to take down the Nazis so good for them uh, then we had Emily Morris uh, in 1889 who was investigating ghosts because and she has an interesting ghost because she is hoping that if ghosts are real she can find her late mother which oh that is sad. That is really sad. But um, but it wasn't ghosts because there's never ghosts and there's never ghosts in uh, the Hooniverse. Is that what it's called specifically? The Hooniverse, the Doctor Hooniverse, something like that. Oh. Um. So yeah. Uh. So she was actually really interesting. Honestly, she does make a... She did make a great companion. You know, just sort of 1880s Ronnie, basically. Going around investigating stuff. And then... And I did kind of joke, like, oh, well, maybe she should join Torchwood. She could. Torchwood would have been around by then. They, you know, they would have just... They would have been just starting off, but that would actually be cool. Um... So, yeah. Um... What else? What else? Uh, the whole thing with, you know, it's not ghosts, but it's stuff. It's a, it's an event from the future. Uh, I thought that was actually really interesting. And using the clock to let it start again uh, was cool. And seeing fucking horrible ass babysitter locking them in their room. And then, fuck it, Like, Jesus Christ, this is a horrible fucking babysitter. And then fucking... Um, and then them trying to light a candle and then they start burning the place but don't play with matches I will say that's a little bit on the kids too don't play with matches don't play with fire come on but then 
it's ugh, no one's in the right on that one. It's like the kids shouldn't be playing with matches. The babysitter shouldn't lock them in their fucking room. Oi. So yeah, luckily they got him out. I also thought it was then. I thought it was interesting um, with Emily taking taking the key. And Sarah Jane going back and it's just like a well shit now what do we do and then I was and then I did things like oh maybe they can back to the future this you know have have the key arrive at this specific point in time but at the same time it's like she but I was like she doesn't know she doesn't know when where Sarah Jane is from but but they got me I like that they got me with the friggin she had the newspaper article. Showing the exact date and place that Sarah Jane was going. So, yeah. Um, that was interesting. The only thing she didn't have was the time. The time of day. Um, but, yeah. That was interesting. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> and then the whole thing with the shopkeeper and the fucking parrot. is like, ah, the captain's work is done. Bye. And he's gone. And it's just like... Well, whatever. We don't know anything about him, but fuck it. It's like, oh, okay, guys. That's... I don't want to say that's lazy writing, but I mean, it kind of is. It's like, just, you could give something on this guy. It's like, nope, uh, he's gone, by. But that's not the point of the episode. The point of the episode was them back in time, and that part was amazing. So, yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. Yeah. That's pretty much that, I think. Uh, with all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Sarah Jane Adventures reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.